came back to this well, event that's about to start. I don't even do it well, uh, first of all, we just got back here uh, about an hour ago. Everything is kind of rush, rush, but um, I guess when I got to Des Moines, the uh, memories and the excitement, everything started oozing all, all back again. So really excited about it, looking forward to a wonderful weekend. As you look back on that team making the NCAA tournament, that was a really big deal. Did you realize at the time what a big deal that was? You know, at the time I was a freshman, obviously, and um, I didn't know anything but um, when can I get home. So I was really <laughs> homesick during that time. But uh, to actually look back on it, to know what it meant uh, to the university, to our players, um, it was something really, really special. It's something that we talk about even up until the day. So it was a great, great memory, that's for sure. What's it like to uh, come back here after being the leading scorer of all time? Well, I've, I've been here a few times already, and um, it's it's always good to come home. And um, this is where I feel, I feel like Iowa State is home for me. This is where basketball really and truly got started. And so I'm really excited, really feel good. And again, it brings back so many wonderful memories. Are there any favorites these... that stand out, uh, particularly from that tournament season? Um, from that tournament season, I think um, just you know getting to know the collegiate um, uh, game play and how the style of play was, all of those things you think about and, and, and try to remember um, so much. But more importantly, um, just the camaraderie with all of the guys, learning the players. You know, we had guys from Michigan, from Minnesota, from Iowa, and obviously from Chicago. And so uh, just getting, getting along with everyone and, and really um, building that relationship and that bond, that was the biggest thing. As you look back, how grateful are you that you had an opportunity to play a year with Barry? Well, uh, Barry's my brother-in-law, and uh, he's been a friend of mine since high school and even middle school, actually. So um, I was really, really overwhelmed when um, I had the opportunity to play one year, one season with him. And so to actually watch and observe how he approached the game every single night in practice, out of practice, preseason, um, it taught me a heck of a lot. And so I was able to take that and, and move forward with it as well. When you got here, there was already, already momentum. The crowd had returned or maybe shown up like it had never had before. A lot of people credit Barry for that. Oh, without a doubt. I don't want to steal the thunder of the <laughs> night, but um, I'm going to tell you that uh, Hilton Magic, and we all talk about Hilton Magic, it was created by none other than Barry Steele. None other. This, and I don't know if you guys know who this is, but this is Barry's oldest child, Ariel. And so um, she came here and she's, we, got a, we got an awesome and a very special tribute at the end. I want you guys to make sure you stay tuned. I don't want to give it all away, but um, she's got something for you guys at the end.